this is a case uh, which is never not near uh, any hypothetical condition. We are looking at this day in and day out. And I don't want you to look at only the medical aspect of the case, also the social, emotional, financial, uh, all these aspects also make the case. The case is not just about the reports and the medical condition, but because we're talking about women, we're talking about culture also here. So uh, I'll skip this slide, but these are the phases that apart from the disease a woman has to go through, through her, throughout her lifetime. So her lifetime is more happening than the men. And this is a, a lady, 70, 67 years old, known to have diabetes, hypertension, dyslipidemia for many years, and came with pain in the jaw while climbing up the stairs. The same stairs which she had been climbing up for all of her life, and was ignoring the symptoms, thinking that they are because of hyperacidity. Recently was unable to climb the stairs to her house, which is on second floor. So apart from the medical condition, I want you to focus that she has been ignoring the symptoms because she thought they are because of acidity. And here comes one of the points that is different in women. Current medication. Again, one more point I want you to look at is one and a half years, she had had no follow-up with her physician. So that is, again, one thing that women do ignore their symptoms and they do not follow up because they don't give that much importance to their own health. So the blood pressure was high, BMI is high, the laboratory said okay, okay, but the resting ECG was normal and 2D echo showed diastolic dysfunction. She was not able to complete the TMT and coronary angiogram was done which showed a diffuse coronary artery with 80% block in left descending anterior, uh, left descending, left anterior descending artery. And th he, this is what is the case. And the suggestion is to go ahead with treatment uh, of coronary, angio, uh, ang uh, coronary uh, intervention, which she refused for whatever reason. So these are the issues which I think we need to discuss apart from the medical uh, issues, that they need to give importance to their symptoms, they need to follow up regularly, the financial aspect of aspects of getting the test and treatment done and the support that is required from the family, from the children or whoever is so-called supporting women. I think it's the woman who is supporting everyone but we forget that.